parents and family members, please do a few things for me before we begin. Please silence your cell phones, and during the processional, please remain seated to allow all an opportunity for pictures. Please welcome the graduating class of 2023.
Tennessee desk. Please rise. Male graduates, remove your caps and join the class of 2023 in the national anthem, followed by a moment of silence for all who could not join us today. Please help me welcome Anna Sadowski to sing our national anthem. Thank you.
We are also fortunate this evening to be joined by many of our elementary, middle, and high school faculty and staff. Would all the faculty and staff members in attendance please stand to be recognized for all of your influence and hard work shaping these graduates. tireless efforts give each graduating class a high school experience they will never forget. I would also like to show my appreciation to Mr. Virag, our band director, and Ms. Ponsig, our course director for tonight's music, and our high school secretaries and maintenance staff for organizing and creating a beautiful atmosphere for tonight's ceremony. Principal Travis Barga, Director of Special Programs Dr. Chris Clark, Athletic Director John Skiba, Elementary Principal Dr. Courtney Anderson, Business Administrator Dina Turner, HR Manager Jamie Law, and our Superintendent Dr. Matt Kirby. We are also privileged tonight to have in attendance members of the Apollo Ridge School Board. Ms. Becky Ross, Mr. Dom Dusso, and Mrs. Sue Winkowski. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Matt Kirk. Members of the board, members of the administration, faculty, staff, parents, and most importantly, our family members at our class of 2023. Thank you for the opportunity to share a few words of congratulations and gratitude. I cannot begin to tell you what a pleasure it has been to watch this group of seniors as they progress through their years here at Apollo Ridge. Since the time I got into the administration as an elementary principal, I always thought it was so cool about the school is to see these young kids and just wonder uh, and think how fun it's going to be to see what happens in the future. Who's going to be the lead in our, in our plays? Uh, who are we going to be watching on the athletic fields? Where will these students choose to pursue higher education? And just to watch them become young adults and get to walk across this very stage. I'm so incredibly blessed to be on this stage tonight, both as a superintendent as a father. And for the first time, I can really identify with the other parents and family members watching their children reach this milestone. Each year, I admit that I get emotional in watching our seniors walk across the stage. Being a small school and close community, I really value the opportunity to get to know our students. With this class, however, I've had an even greater opportunity. Seeing them at birthday parties, Little League games, countless school events, and sometimes where I can just let my guard down and just be a parent. I've thought about this evening and this speech for a long time and just how to try and encapsulate, encapsulate the moment. And I finally come to the conclusion that there's no need to be eloquent or write a masterpiece. Sometimes it's better just speak from the heart. So I will tell you, class of 2023, you're such a special group of young people. And I'm so thankful to have had the opportunity to watch you grow up. You are kind. You're fun to be around, and being such a small class has established a terrific bond between each other, all of which is a great example for the underclassmen coming up behind you. The moments you have given us all during your time here at Apollo Ridge have been so special, and I am very, very proud of you. In this class, we've had students of all different interests and abilities. We have future Ivy League students, stars in the musical, 
outstanding athletes, record breakers, competition winners, artists, musicians, and those who will choose to defend our nation in the military. Some of you have led from the front for all to see, others more quietly behind the scenes. But please know, each and every one of you played a large role in making the class of 2023 special. I want to personally thank you for all of your kindness, your enthusiasm, and your efforts to be a positive member of the Apollo Rich family. You all know just how proud it makes me when I see you supporting one another, encouraging one another in the classroom or during extracurriculars, taking the time to say good morning or holding the door for someone else. Even the fact that you put up with my bad dad jokes a lot of the time or talk with me during lunch, uh, Apollo Ridge is a special place because of people like you. I wish you all the very best as you move into this next part of life and want to be sure you know that the best is yet to come. While many say that high school is the best years of your life, I've not found that to be the case. Don't get me wrong, they were great. Uh, I have several lifelong friends and memories that will last, last me a lifetime and there will always be a bond and connection with your fellow Vikings. But you have so much ahead that it's hard to grasp. And some of you have met to meet the best friends you'll ever have. Some have yet to meet your, your spouse. And if you're blessed with children, you don't know the, the joy yet of watching them grow. My wife and I sometimes talk about how if you showed us a picture now, uh, or from now, 30 years ago, we just know how I have no idea of who the people are who we're hanging out with and spending our time with, uh, and they're our favorite people to be with now. Also, as much as I enjoyed my time getting to play sports and be in activities in school, it's not close to how much fun I've had watching my own kids. It may not always seem like that much fun, as many of you saw me pacing up above the press box and looked like I was sick to my stomach most of the time during football games. But moments like our senior night win against Sarah Catholic will always be etched in my mind. As much as I absolutely love every minute of watching my own child's events, please know that I had so much fun and enjoyed watching each of you as well. Watching your incredible talents on stage during the musical admittedly uh, would bring a tear to my eye. Watching your excitement when you set a school record and running to your friends uh, to celebrate. In basketball season, even though our boys lost half of their team to injury and we were outmanned every game, you guys didn't give up for one second, and I would just swell with pride watching you. Being at our yacht football game, and I, I, I was a little less stressed as, uh, you know, unfortunately Nick was injured, but I got a chance to sit by the, the band and see how much fun you were having and the enthusiasm to play. And it was awesome. I, I loved every minute of it. Uh, I could go on and on, but I want you to know that what you have done here matters. And though I am blessed to have the opportunity to vocalize that on stage tonight, I guarantee there's a whole bunch of parents sitting behind me or family members who would say the same thing. You make us all so proud and bring joy to our community. I pray that someday you get to experience that joy yourself. As far as words of wisdom, I'm afraid I don't claim to have a lot of that to offer, but there is one thing that I always stress that everyone is capable of doing and I'm sure would make a difference in the world. Be kind. I have seen you all be uh, be very good at this and pray that you never change that. Many, many of the problems in this world could be solved or avoided if people would just take the time to be respectful of others and show kindness. Kindness doesn't mean that you have to agree with everyone, just that you're capable of disagreeing in a respectful manner. Everyone is fighting a difficult battle. Everyone is facing challenges of some sort, and everyone is worthy of being shown love and respect. In a world full of division and disagreement, showing kindness is the one thing that every one of you can do to make an impact. I've been blessed to watch all of you grow up into the fine young men and women that you are today, and I know you're capable of doing just that. Never let your kindness fade, and be kind even when you don't feel like it. It'll make a difference perhaps beyond what you'll ever know. I'd like to close by sharing with you words from Mother Teresa. Something that I keep hung up in my office as a reminder, entitled, You and God. She says, people are often unreasonable, irrational, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. 
If you're successful, you will win some unfaithful friends and some genuine enemies. Succeed anyway. If you're honest and sincere, people may deceive you. Be honest and sincere anyway. What you spend years creating, others could destroy overnight. Create anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, some may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good that you do today will often be forgotten. Do good anyway. Give the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give your best anyway. In the final analysis, it's between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. Class of 2023, you have so much to offer and such a bright future ahead of you. I am very proud of you and very thankful for all you've contributed to the legacy of a Paul Ridge School District. I love you. I'll miss you being here each day. Please know that we will always support you. We will always be here for you. We'll always be cheering you on, and you'll always be part of the Apollo Ridge family. Thank you and congratulations. family, friends, community members, Apollo Ridge faculty, staff, administration, and board members, and most importantly, the Apollo Ridge graduates of 2023. I first want to say a heartfelt thank you to my mom, dad, Elizabeth, and the rest of my family for all of your unconditional love and support throughout my life. You not only made it possible for me to be standing here, but helped me grow and thrive into the person that I am today. Next, thank you to all of my teachers, elementary, middle, and high school that taught me everything from how to multiply and divide to the complicated phases of mitosis. They first taught me how to be successful in the classroom, but more importantly, prepared me for life after Apollo. Now, to the class of 2023. You may be used to hearing all sorts of questions about your future. What are your plans? What are you going to do after high school? College, job, a military? Now, these are all very important questions, but I want to reflect on our accomplishments so far. Most recently, our track and field team with the boys winning section champions, and the team sent the most individual athletes that they ever had to the PIAA state championship. Or the football team earning two home field advantage playoff games or maybe you got the opportunity to march down Main Street of Disney World your freshman year, or perform an honor band and chorus group. 
Maybe you were part of the musical direction here at Apollo or involved in the fall play that got brought back this year. On the nerdy side, our Quiz Bowl team won the section title for the first time last year and the individuals that competed at the KBKA Hometown High Q earned a well-deserved spot in the playoffs. Or lastly, if you volunteered your time to give back to this wonderful community for spring cleanup day, veteran dinners, food banks, or even dressing up as an elf, immersing ourselves in sports, arts, clubs, and service has taught us all leadership skills, dedication, and the importance of teamwork. Helps prepare us for the future, yet still left these nagging questions unanswered. These questions may be hard to answer because Frankly, we're not supposed to know most of them yet. What are you going to do when you grow up? How am I supposed to know that? I'm not even old enough to vote yet. These uncertainties can hold us back, however. They're what make this part of our lives so exciting. We need to trust that the work that we've put in so far will be enough to lead us to the next lesson in our lives. I'd like to leave you with a quote and a few ideas before we get on with the rest of our evening and the rest of our lives but I promise I won't be attempting any elaborate metaphors here. During her influential life in advocating for the rights of humans and women around the world, Eleanor Roosevelt said, I am who I am today because of the choices that I made yesterday. Class of 2023, we may have taken many different paths and we may have faced challenges unique to every person here, but all of our choices led us to this field. So no matter what we've planned for the next 13 years of your life or the 13 after that, always remember your first community, your first friend on the bus to kindergarten, your first aha moment in algebra, your first crush maybe, but you guys really don't have to remember that if you don't want to, your first cat dissection, but we don't need to remember that one either. All of these firsts formed us into the individuals that we are here right now, tonight. And seeing that this is our last time ever being all together as one, I want to say that I'm so proud to call myself a soon-to-be graduate of Apollo Ridge's class of 2023. I would lastly like to encourage you to celebrate who you were at Apollo Ridge. The memories made during this chapter of our lives should not be overlooked or forgotten in the years to come, no matter how embarrassing it might have been. From our academic, athletic, and artistic achievements to the service we have given back into our community, and the friendships and connections been unmade, then maybe made again, because if you haven't noticed, we're working with very limited numbers up here. But now, as we leave high school and enter the next chapter of our lives, take these memories and lessons learned along the way with you. Never forget everything that you've done to lead you to this moment. No matter where you all end up, whether that be halfway around the world or right here in Apollo, never forget your roots. Embrace growing up in a small town where you knew everyone and everything, even when that meant knowing everyone and everything. And when the road ahead seems daunting and you need some words of encouragement, remember when Taylor Swift, the musical mastermind, philanthropist, and someone who definitely embraced her rural Pennsylvania roots said, life is just a classroom. Congratulations to the class of 2023. You will all do very great things. Thank you. Please help me welcome this year's salutatorian, April Arner.
first year here in front of all of you tonight, I am so proud to receive this honor. Not because of the classes I've taken throughout high school, but because of the lifelong lessons I've learned and would like to share with you all. I feel the most important thing we have learned at Apollo Ridge has been hard work. Over the years, my parents, teachers, and coaches have taught me that nothing is ever given, and if I want something, I need to work for it. Sometimes it can be hard to have the motivation to give 100% all of the time, but it's worth it when you see you achieve your goals. I think we all had that moment tonight celebrating our past 13 years of hard work. Another extremely valuable lesson we have learned is accountability. Accountability has been such a big part of everything I do, whether it be in the classroom, on the softball field, in the community, and through all commitments. Being able to admit to your mistakes shows a bigger person than someone who doesn't take any responsibility for their actions. Along with admitting to those mistakes, it is also important to learn from them. We've all made mistakes and decisions we regret, especially throughout high school, but I hope we can all learn from these mistakes to become better people. The last lesson I want to mention today is about appreciation. Coming from a small school and being heavily involved, we all had to balance school, sports, clubs, jobs, friends, and family, which can be overwhelming and mentally taxing. When you are faced with all of these things at once, sometimes it's hard to find the positive in each situation, but that is the best thing you can do to push through the hard times. I know it sounds a bit cliche, but be the person who thinks with the glass half full mentality. Appreciating the little things in every situation makes the hard days better and the good days great. So life after we leave here tonight will be tough, but I hope each and every one of you are able to appreciate what life has to offer and make the best of every day. Something I'm most grateful for is the chance to grow up alongside you and be part of a tight-knit community. These last 13 years have been an unforgettable journey. I hope as we all part ways and begin our new journeys, we are able to demonstrate hard work, accountability, and gratefulness to wherever the future may take us. Best wishes to my fellow graduates, the class of 2018. Thank you for laughing at that. I appreciate it. Please help me welcome this year's Woman of the Year, Madeline Smoyer. to think about all the people who weren't here to be around us, 
In a class this size, you get to know everyone. We started this journey four years ago, and in that time, we got to do pretty much everything we could ask, given the circumstances. I think everyone remembers that day in March 2020, when we were told we had two weeks off of school, never imagining what was about to happen. Despite the unusual end to our freshman year and our unconventional sophomore year, sports, arts, and clubs remained as active as ever, just with a few modifications. No matter what you participated in, you were able to make some truly unforgettable memories with your classmates. You spent every day since kindergarten with most of these people. Don't treat graduation like it's nothing. These are the people who have made you who you are today, so appreciate all the time you've had together. Appreciate this time, but don't mourn it. It's the end of an era, true, but it's also the beginning of something new. Be excited to go out into the world and try to make it better. Whether you're going to college, the military, trade school, or straight into the workforce, you have a new journey ahead of you. Make the most of it. Whoever you were in high school doesn't have to carry through for the rest of your life. You now have the chance to become the best version of yourself, whatever that means to you. A few months ago, I was attending an accepted student's day at Princeton, and I came across an inscription on a park bench. It was very simple, but it was words to live by. Do good, be kind, have fun. The first line, do good, is a bit ambiguous. I asked people what they thought it meant, and I got two answers, both of which bear review. Neither interpretation is more correct than the other, and both are crucial to a well-lived life. Do good at everything you do. You by no means need to do everything perfectly, but you should do it to the best of your ability. Even if you fail miserably, if you try your hardest, you'll be able to hold your head up high. Do things in a way that you can be proud of what you did and the effort you put into it, even if you don't get recognition for it, or even if it doesn't go as well as you hope. Don't let yourself be held back by a fear of failure. Always try to better yourself, because if you put in the effort, you will have nothing to be embarrassed about, no matter what the outcome is. Others thought that do good meant do good things for others. Our goal as human beings should be to leave the world better than we found it. Try to put good out into the world. You don't have to win the Nobel Peace Prize to make an impact. Even small actions can make the world better. If you were in Leo Club, you saw how little things like volunteering at the food bank or cleaning the cemetery can make a difference. There will always be opportunities to do good things, so take those opportunities whenever they arise. Be kind. Being kind goes hand in hand with doing good. If you're nice to someone, you can make their day. It may not make the world better in a tangible way, but it definitely makes an impact. Who hasn't had a horrible day that got turned around by a stranger giving a compliment or a friend doing something thoughtful. If you go through life trying to be the person that makes someone else smile, I think you'll find yourself smiling much more often too, because kindness compounds. And remember to have fun. We're about to have a lot of responsibilities, but don't get so stressed and focused on them that everything else takes a back seat. You've all been involved in so many things throughout high school, so keep doing them. Just because you aren't going to be a music major doesn't mean you should stop playing an instrument. Just because you aren't going into the NFL doesn't mean you should never touch a football again. Find the little things that bring you joy and keep them in your life in whatever way possible. Having fun with the people you care about is what makes life worth living. As you sit here today, maybe you're sad that high school is over. Maybe you're terrified for the future. Maybe you can't wait to get out of here. No matter what you're feeling, there's someone else here feeling the exact same way. We're all moving forward together even if we are going in different directions. So, if you take nothing else from this speech, remember to appreciate all the people here with you now. And when you go out into the world, do good, be kind, have fun. Congratulations, class of 2022. Please help me welcome this year's Man of the Year, Dominic Kirchner.
faculty, staff, administration, board, family, friends, and most importantly, members of the Apollo Ridge Class of 2023. I'm humbled and honored to address you all tonight as Senior Man of the Year. I speak for all members of this special class when I say we cannot be celebrating this occasion without the support of many throughout the last 13 years. So I'd like to extend a thank you to those who have guided us to this point in our lives. Thank you to everyone within the Apollo Ridge family, our teachers, our administrators, our secretaries, our maintenance and custodial staff, coaches, advisors, and volunteers that have helped to mold us into the young adults that we are today. From my unique perspective and family roots, I see the first hand that it takes a village to get us to this point. As fortunate as we are for the excellent education that we've received at Apollo Ridge, I must also share thanks to our first teachers and our greatest influences, our parents. They have taught us the importance of character, hard work, love, and support. The effort that you all have put into developing our lives, allowing us to grow into the young adults that we are today, ready to embrace the world, it will, is something that will forever be cherished and appreciated. As we honor the graduating class of 2023 tonight, I recognize that all of us have different futures ahead. Some of us will go to college, some military, some trade programs, and some just straight to the workforce. But there is one thing that all of us will have in common after tonight. We will all experience change. Change is inevitable and can come at times when we least expect it. No longer will we walk the halls of a high school with comfort and familiarity, going through our daily routines and surrounded by those that we all grew up with. As young adults, we now take the next step to becoming productive members of society and quickly we find we are responsible for ourselves. We realize that change, though sometimes opposite of the path that we desire and not always easy to accept, is also a way to grow, become our best selves, experience new opportunities, interactions with others, and build wonderful relationships. So as we prepare to go through change in the upcoming months, I want to encourage each and every member of this graduating class to walk through life excited to embrace change, but also more importantly, to stay true to yourself and your convictions. I know personally I'm excited for the change we'll soon experience, but I know one thing that will never change is my faith. Faith, by, by definition, is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. And as the great Mr. Zawacki, who couldn't join us tonight, sadly, once said in his leadership seminar class, whether you believe it or not, not everyone has faith in something. Oh, sorry. Whether you believe it or not, everyone has faith in something, or nobody would have anything to move forward towards. Whether it's God, your peers, the world, your career, or all these things for that matter, have faith in something greater than your contemporary selves. Every person's identity lies in what they have their utmost faith in. With that being said, your faith will allow you to be persistent through the upcoming changes we are about to face. And even though they will not always be easy, I encourage you all tonight to be willing to grow. It's the only way the world can improve. Leo Tolstoy, uh, a guy who, who wrote a book, I'm pretty sure, once said, everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing themselves. Making the world a better place doesn't all just happen at once. It starts with one person's willingness to grow and to persist through adversity. I trust that each and every individual in this class has something so special that they can contribute to the world, whether they know it or not. I ask that you all please strive to be your best selves after tonight, because through these past years of my life, I've seen how all great you can be. Congratulations to the class of 2023. I've had a great time spending my, well, my life with you guys. And uh, since all the, the smart three up there already talked, and I'm pretty sure you guys are listening, tired of listening to me talk, because I'm not one of the smart three ones, uh, I'm going to wrap this up with a simple message. Speak softly and carry a big stick, and you will go far. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night.
It is with great satisfaction that I recommend all of these students to receive their high school diploma. Before we begin the presentation of the class of 2023, I would like to ask the cooperation of the audience and the senior class to withhold your applause and other expressions of excitement until the names of the class of 2023 have been presented for graduation. Please remember that these seniors have worked 13 years to arrive to this point, and their loved ones will only hear their names announced if you hold your applause until the appropriate time. Thank you for your cooperation. Presenting the class of 2023 will be Dr. Chris Clark, our Director of Special Programs. Will the first row of graduates please rise? Jessica Ann Ross. April Noel Ernest. Madeline Brett Smoyer. Dominic Jacob Kirchy. Bella Xavier Antonelli Stone. Austin James Matthew Baker. David Allen Bancos Jr. Jordan Alexander Baum Porter. Derek James Foster. Gavin Lee Blystone. Let's have a round of applause for our first row of graduates. Second row of graduates, please rise. Anne 
Andrew Kayan McCown. Aiden Riley Burkett. Brandon Richard Butler. Diane Lacey Chapman. Anna J. Clark. Landon Riley Clark. Anthony Joseph Corso. Owen Matthew Crawford. Sydney Morgan Durancic. Sophia Diane Filippini. Delaney Lynn Fitzroy. Michael Ryan Fryer. Isabel Nicole Pierheim. Let's have a round of applause for our second row of graduates. Third row of graduates, please rise.
Sabria Danielle Riley Gibson. Matthew Gorley. Michael Anthony Grant. Jolina Lauren Hamrock. Evan J. Hepler. Corbin H. Johnston. Gabe Logan Johnston. Landon Ray Carpick. Peyton Kenneth Kerr. Kira Ray Kirkwood. Courtney Ann Klingensmith. Gabriella Christine Lapool. Brooklyn Olivia Malin. Sydney Madison McCray. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a round of applause for our third row graduates. Jonathan Charles Mark.
Dalton Brian McKendrick. Jacob Stephen Mull. Hey. Elijah B. Mullinick. Kira Jackie Myers. Maddox Milan Myers. Colton Edward Nag. David John Pomfret. Emily Marie Rittenauer. Colin David Saxon. Alexander Kenneth Sears. Yeah. Bailey Lynn Sherwood. Nathan James Simpson. Jaden Lee Snyder. Catherine Sadowski. Let's have a round of applause for our fourth row. Adam Jacob Sprouts. Austin Pitzenel.
Brinley Shannon Tolan. Madison R. Thura. Reed Branded Benziani. Colton Lee Walker. Connor Paul Wiggins. Ava Summer Patricia Whitlinger. Mason Len Wyatt. Morgan Taylor Wataki. Evan Paul Yakabowski. Let's have a round of applause for our fifth row graduates. Please welcome back to the stage our valedictorian, Jessica Ross. On behalf of the class of 2023, I do hereby and acknowledge and accept these diplomas. Please move your tassels from left to right. our senior chorus members as they sing You Are the Music by Victor C. Johnson. This song was chosen as the lyrics thoughtfully penned by the composer emphasize the ability to bring people together.
Will the graduates and families please rise for our alma mater? Congratulations to the class of 2023.